I guess I got distracted with my video editing last night and I forgot to do the dishes. Oh, I didn't run the dishwasher. I don't know what I was thinking. I always make sure it's cleaned up at night before I go to bed. I started cleaning some more strawberries. They weren't quite ripe when we did the other batch. So now I need to bag them up, put them in the freezer. But I think we'll have some waffles with strawberries for breakfast. The light went out. Oh. Here's my first waffle. My waffles are ready. I'm going to show them to you if I can. Doesn't that look good? What do you think, Erica? Oops. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Ah. I can show them to you this way. There you go. Now oh, I'm going to eat my breakfast. Yeah. He wants me to tug the back hole out. I don't want you to spin the tires or anything, but just put some pressure on it. Okay. You don't have to jerk it, just... We'll see how this goes. You can see him in the mirror there. I don't know. I don't think this is doing much good. It's different than the snow. Ah. He said try harder without spinning the tires. This makes me... I don't know. Nervous? Am I nervous? I don't know. Not really, I guess. One way or another, he'll get it out of there. I'm sitting in the truck while Dutch is out there shoveling around the backhoe. I've definitely got the easier job here. Success, he got it out. Crazy. <laughs> it can't reach down to solid ground because it's so much. Say that again? It was like a suction cup, sucked it in there. But he got it out. He's pretty good with that backhoe. Nothing to worry about. I am making Angela's sugar-free brownies. I don't know if you can see that there. It doesn't matter. I've got eight eggs in the bowl. It's going to take one can of pumpkin, a half cup of butter, one and a half cups of my baking blend, baking soda powder, salt, unsweetened cocoa powder, and a chopped dark chocolate candy bar. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay. I'm making brownies. Sugar-free brownies. I've got eggs. I've got a can of pumpkin in there. I don't know what happened. Now I'm going to add one and a half cups of my baking one. And it's not quite, uh, yeah, it can be a little bit less. Two teaspoons. 
tablespoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder. I've got those backwards, by the way. And a quarter teaspoon of salt, half a cup of cocoa. I forget the sweetener. Quarters of a cup. And mix it all together. Mix it all together. I just spray a pan or spread some coconut oil on it. Just a little bit. And if the batter is all ready. Don't want to waste any. So normally I would completely clean it up. Then, spread it evenly in the pan. I didn't add the chocolate chips yet. I will do that and then pop it in the oven. Good job. My brownies, although this time it looks more like cake. I made it last week and it didn't rise at all. Same recipe. I just want to show you how my brownies turned out, although this time they're more cake-like. Can you see that? So good, nice and chocolatey. Yeah, I think hmm, if I spread it out thinner, it's more like a brownie, a thick brownie. I don't know enough to decide. I really thought when I made them the first time that they were brownie-like, and now I made it again and it's cake-like. And I used the same recipe because it's my own recipe, and I wrote it down, which I don't always do. So I think... I'll be making it again in the next few days. I wanted to try something. My aunt also shared a recipe called um, Milky Way Bars, and they use a brownie base, so I was planning to use this as the base, but it's more cake-like. Yeah, some brownies are cake-like, right? Yeah. Okay. So I still had a little bit of the brownies from the first time left, and maybe you can see the difference. This one was from my first batch and the other from my second batch. So you can see why I was calling them brownies because they're just not as thick as the cake. In any case, they're both very good.